watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. We liked him when we met him, and Matt Pavarnik's been on the job for about five months, almost half a year, with Go Topeka and the Topeka Chamber, and certainly have some questions I'd love to ask him about that as we welcome. Let's see, what would the titles be? Matt Pavarnik is here. What would all those titles be, Matt? Oh. Are you president, CEO? President, CEO. Uh, Go Topeka Chamber? Go, Go Topeka and Chamber. I got answer. it all right. Yeah. 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 Uh, tell me about the first drive you made through Topeka. I loved when you shared that story with a big audience for the, the Chamber luncheon. You and your wife driving through downtown, and it was uh, an early morning drive, wasn't it? Sure. What were your first impressions? Well, that's a timely question with the uh, festivities of the weekend. But We're going to fill it up this weekend, yeah. it looks like. But yeah. when we pulled in, uh, we pulled in on the, in the morning, and we the first thing I want to do is go down <laughs> Kansas Avenue. And when we pulled into Kansas Avenue and started uh, r around 10th Street, uh, it was a war zone. And there were construction, there were construction trucks and construction workers everywhere. There was dirt. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just, quite frankly, it was a mess. And my first words was, were, this is beautiful. I think my wife thought I was a little crazy. Uh, but I, but I, one, I knew what Topeka wanted and to do. How was it beautiful to you? Yes, elaborate on that. Seeing progress, yeah. seeing progress. I, I, I knew that what I was seeing was future progress, and so it was a beautiful thing. Do you like what you're seeing now? Oh gosh, it's it's exceeded it's really my something. expectations. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'd like to get some questions in, Matt, about Go Topeka is here, and the chamber is over here, and they are they still connected? There's still a rumbling in Topeka. Should these be two separate entities? And are you going to preside over that of, of the future of both organizations and leading one of them? Or sure. what's the status of Actually, that? there's more than two entities. Uh, you have Go Topeka, which is the Economic Development Organization, the Chamber of Commerce, Fa uh, Fast Forward, which is Young Professionals Organization, right. uh -huh. and Heartland Visioning. Um, all of those organizations, although they have uh, separate missions, they, they really have one in game, and that's to create economic prosperity. So no, absolutely not. They should not be separate organizations. So do you lead all four? Are you the leader of, yes. of each one? Of yes. Right, right. Yes. Do chamber members, Matt, come to you and they say, I'd like you to work on this. Yeah. Do they tell you that? What are they telling you? Every day. Well, if you want me to fix the roads. Uh, oh, but, sure. But, but that's not, that's my, not my mission. So You know, the, this is the year of the city street. It is. I'm Maybe looking forward to uh, that. By the way, I'll mention uh, Mayor Walgast and City Manager Jim Colson are joining Matt and me a little bit later. So the streets are going to get a work over. So that's got to be good. The infrastructure's always yeah, good. Right? Yeah. But I'm going to leave that up to them. Uh, really, so one, anything else? Yeah, the the one, chamber members say, or this is a, a glaring thing that you need to work yeah, on. Yeah, a couple. Now. One is a focus on small business. Uh, small business is definitely big business in Topeka, yeah. uh, and so I've been asked to really put an emphasis on small business. Uh, the other is just <clears> that <throat> our, our members are searching for workforce, and and uh, just making sure that we keep working on attracting and retaining talent to this community. Are we doing well on that front? Are we losing people? Or are we starting to gain? Well, people? I think that we've been holding our own uh, and I don't see I don't see where we've been growing uh, but we've also not really been shrinking either but we have to grow it's 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 critical that we grow our workforce and grow our population it's not flatlining but it's been steady and it's been you steady want to see it grow yeah, right? absolutely quality of life issues a lot of people bring those up how does the chamber and go Topeka fit into that yeah, well, and, and the, the young professionals yeah well our ability to attract and retain talent yeah. attract and retain workers for our companies all depends on that quality of life. Ten years ago, you wouldn't have heard somebody say that that's economic development, but now quality of life very much is economic Bike development. Bike trails, cultural things to do, things like that? Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what young professionals, millennials, quite frankly, even baby boomers are looking for. All right. Can you stick around? We're going to have the mayor and Jim Colson. We'll move them over here. Do you want to be over here with me? I would me? love to. Maybe you can ask them. I'd love for the, the guys to ask you something and you ask them something. We'll oh, see yeah, that would be here. fun. So we've got uh, plenty more to go here. Matt, thanks for being Thank on the you. show today. And thanks, uh, Ralph. plenty more. As uh, we'll take a break and get Ian Cassette's weekend weather for you. July 2nd, downtown, a lot of things going on. And the 4th of July, we'll have the weather. And then uh, Mayor Larry Wolgast and City Manager Jim Colson will join us over here. Hope you'll join us back after the break. You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader.
Having a roundtable discussion about Topeka, great to have these fellows alongside. We chatted with Matt Babarnik of Go Topeka and the Chamber. Mayor, Mayor Larry Wolgast is here, and uh, City Manager Jim Colson has also stopped by with some things that I'd like to talk about. Mayor, good to have you here. Welcome aboard again. Jim, good to see you again. Always. All right. Coming up on uh, four years in August, we said. Four years going into your fifth year. Larry, how glad are you that uh, he's going to be around for a while? Well, important that we have continuity. And I think there are so many things happening in Topeka right now. It is so exciting, and uh, our city manager, Jim, has played a role in all of that. And we, and we want to keep that going, a good momentum. It's so important yeah. to have that, that aspect in, in mind. And it's just exciting what we see happening, and we, there's going to be so much more within the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. I know that in particular you two wanted to mention, and we had mentioned it on the news, but that's just a, a short version of it, but the What Works City Initiative. And there are 39 cities, Topeka and 38 yeah. other cities, through uh, Bloomberg Philanthropies. And what's the nature of uh, What Works Cities and being a part of this initiative? Well, first of all, Bloomberg Philanthropies is probably the leading national organization that is really out in front with helping cities become more effective. And this particular grant that Topeka was awarded, one of 39 cities, is how do we better get our information to the public? Uh, how much can we do? And you know, it could just inf get information out, but how do you make it effective? That people want it, understand it, and it makes a difference. And they have, it isn't that we receive money, they send people out and help us process this. Mm -hmm. So it's a new aspect of how we become a more effective city. And Jim knows better about the techni technology of the what's technology. involved. Jim, I know you've always stressed we want to be, we've got to be, and we want to be more transparent in what we do in government. And in the, the four years you've been here, do you feel that you're reaching some major goals on being more open with the public and we love having you guys here to chat for more than just a 20 second sound bite we right. always say to get yeah. to get an interview with you once in a while when you come over but how are we doing on transparency i think we're doing good and i'd like to think it more in terms of opening visibility into what the city's doing the types of data that we're we're interacting with and more importantly how we make those decisions and how that information is pushed out the number one challenge that exists not just in Topeka but nationally when it comes to governance and to leadership is a lack of trust in the people who are leading and confidence in the information that is being provided. So the only way that you can combat that is by opening up the windows into the organization so that people can see what you're doing mm -hmm. and ultimately uh, begin to build that trust and that confidence going forward. With Matt Pavarnik over here from Go Topeka, how, how great to have all three of you here on our show. We really appreciate that. But what business role does it play, small business, larger business, in working with city government, making Topeka better? What's the connection? Well, we are intimately connected. Uh, what the city does affects economic development. What the Chamber of Topeka does certainly affects the city. Uh, I think the, the most important aspect is our working together. We're on the same plane, the same board, the same goals. Uh, whether it's gaining more companies to come here, it's helping the communities, it's developing downtown, all of that is, it's the big picture of economic development. And I think quality of life, that fits in. And that's the, the city has a responsibility, but certainly the chamber and go to peak have a more specific as relates to economic development for that. Right, I'd ask Matt, we're gonna give Matt a chance to ask you a question, but I'd ask Matt about quality of life issues and millennials and young professionals. And uh, is there anything, Larry, that Topeka needs to work on a lot harder to make that happen on the quality of life issues? That has been cited as uh, a main thing that Topeka wants to do to keep younger people here and not have them just pass through town for a few years. Well, I think it's typical of every, every city today is seeing that change taking place. The young people, whatever, under 40, under 30, see things differently. They have different attitudes, different philosophies, and how do we relate to them? And we have to sometimes get out of the way and let them be the ones that are determining the directions and new ways, how we function. And in Topeka, I'm, I'm proud that we have organizations, the Fast Forward, that's doing an outstanding job of relating to young people. Let them connect with each other that's and right. network and things like that. I want to give uh, Mr. Pavarnik a chance to open, sure. the, open the floor to him for a question for, for you guys. First of all, I'd like to thank you gentlemen for your partnership. And my question is, in 10 years, if you're traveling 
uh, into another state and you're telling somebody about Topeka and you ask them about Topeka, what do you want them to say? What is, what is their impression of, of Topeka, Kansas? A decade from now? Yes. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. So as I look at that, I think what, what we're focused on is being a very well-run city. And, and I hope it's not 10 years from now, I hope it's two years from now where people are talking about the model city that exists within Topeka from a decision-making perspective and talk about, hey, we didn't really know much about it. And now it seems to be one of those happening places where the millennials and the others are occurring. We've got so many fantastic opportunities uh, that, not just opportunities, but things that are happening at Topeka today, and mm -hmm. I think we need to capitalize on that. So I just want to hear people talking about that. Okay. Well, the What Works Cities Initiative, that's going to be interesting to follow that. Thanks for coming over and chatting about that and all, all things Topeka. Larry Wolgast. Thank you. Jim Colson, good to have you again. Matt Pavarnik of Go Thank Topeka. You, How do you feel about Let's Do This Once in a While? Yeah, I'd, would you like it'd be great. Our panel is fantastic. Yeah. Matt, thanks for coming over. And as we approach 5 o'clock, I want to head over and we'll check in with Melissa Bruner. We have an announcement coming up from downtown. We can say after 5, I think, Melissa. And what else is coming up today on Live at 5? And I also want to give you a chance to ask a question to the mayor if you want to get in some time with him. <laughs> We've only got Colson. 60 seconds left. There's been way too much to ask. We'd have so much fun. Anyhow, yeah, we'll have that announcement for you coming up after oh. 5 o'clock tonight. We also are going to have a look at the newest pocket park in downtown Topeka. We talk a lot about improvements to the capital city and the future of farming is taking flight. You will find out how some new rules the FAA is set to implement are going to help make that happen when you join us next on Live at 5. I just want to know if you're all going to have a good 4th of July. That's yes. a good question. That's good. Great. Larry good. says yes. It's going to be a great, great, great Guys, time. thank you. Uh, if we have the opportunity to make this happen again, Matt Pavarnik of Go Topeka and Mayor Larry Wolgast and Jim Colson, we'll get together on the red couch and talk Topeka again. Good to have you guys here. And uh, if Melissa has any other questions, you might have a chance during the commercial break. We're going to take a commercial break here live at 5 with the news and weather is on the way next. Have a good afternoon. Get the latest news, weather, and sports at WIBW.com or follow WIBW on Twitter, Facebook, and our mobile app. I think we did. Thank you for making 13 News the most watched evening news show.